when I first see um, this type of expression, it, I always want to try to factor as much as I can and rewrite as much as I can to eventually eliminate something from the numerator and denominator. So that's what I do in this example. What I first do is I try to rewrite this numerator as x to the 1 and 2 thirds. So I have x to the 1 and 2 thirds because then I could see, the students could see that you could probably separate um, these, this expression on the numerator. I rewrote the denominator um, as 2x squared to the 1 third just because, again, like I said, I want to rewrite as much as I can to see if I can factor anything out of my expression. So, continuing here, I again rewrote this x times x to the 2, x times x to the 2 thirds. So, because I first saw this x to the 2 thirds would come up, come up again when I um, distribute this power. So, just like I predicted, I could eliminate my x to the two-thirds from this expression. So then I rewrote my expression as x over two to the one-third power. Now um, there's not much I, I rewrote this as a radical just because it seemed more familiar to me the properties of radicals when I did this problem. I used this cube root of 4, um, I could have used another example, but the cube root of 8 is, pri is probably the smallest, the smallest cubed root that I could get in the denominator. So, continuing on, um, I stated properties of multiplying radicals that I could multiply this 4 times 2 to get an 8, and then explained why I used the cube root of 4 over the cube root of 4 to get that cube root of 8 because I saw that 2 in the denominator. And then I knew this was fully simplified because I rationalized the denominator and I couldn't simplify this expression anymore.